day two and we are sitting here at the main dining room to have our sea day brunch. Yes, we have two sea days as crews and we do like to start with sea day brunch, so what a way to start today. Yep, so we're just waiting on our food, enjoying some coffee, and we got our little men pins on the camera so we can watch them play in the yard. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we'll take you along with us and show you what we got going for the oh, day. Oh, here's our men pin. There she is. <laughs> yeah, there's a little girl. <laughs> we'll show you our food real quick and then we'll see what else we can do today. Yep, see you yep. Uh, We do really like the Serenity area on the ship. It's all the way aft, uh, but they have a hot tub and it looks very comfortable and shady. So yeah, I think we'll be hanging out there. And we still have not seen like major crowds anywhere. So really good with being able to go wherever you want to go. Yep, so give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll show you our day. All right, our food spread has arrived. We've tried this before, it's all lovely. We won't bore you with all that, but I have a ham and cheese omelet, crisp bacon, juice, Danish. Andrea has scrambled eggs. Corned beef hash and a Danish. And coffee. So, a good way to start the day. I think I would choose the uh, bacon caramel. We do like our java blue, and we are going to each get a fancy coffee, and we'll show you what we get. But they got a lot of a lot of good stuff, and it's a big area on this ship. Okay, we have our java blue. I just went with a cafe latte because I don't like a lot of sweet in coffee. Call me crazy, but and Andrea. I do. So I got a coffee milkshake, and she asked if I wanted a whip. And if they ask if you want a whip, you gotta say yes. <laughs> coffee milkshake. Well, it's here. Oh, oh, oh. All right. I guess I could have got a little sweetness. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I. Tomorrow, I'll try to correct it, but I usually have beignets with us, so I don't want sweet in the coffee, but now that I don't have anything, I wouldn't mind a little something, but it's fine. And how is it? Mm-hmm. Delightful. So I think it's just ice cream with uh, shots of espresso, I think. So, I don't know. There it's you good. go. And it's, then you get the little chocolate candy straw to go with it. It does sound good. And they said they even have root beer floats, which kind of sounds good to me. But we will be back because I actually saw, originally I was going to get a chocolate caramel, but since it's 11 o'clock, why not get a coffee shake and then go for the other later. There you go. And we're about halfway to Cosimo. Here's our view. That's the way. All right, forward on the ship is the main theater. It's called, is it Normandy? Yeah, Normandy. Normandy Theater. Yeah, look at this. So what's striking us is this would be super, super, super comfortable. Look at it. And there's a bunch of these. So if you could score these seats for a show, I mean, you'd have it made. Is it all you had hoped? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. All right, let me try. Oh, yeah, okay. I would totally watch a show here. But look how fancy. Very All nice. All right, well, hopefully we'll be back for a show and sitting in a little booth. You have a little table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, beautiful day here. So we did see from our cabin, if you look out our window and down, you could get forward, which looks like deck 11. But if we went to deck 11 inside, it was staterooms. So we couldn't figure out how to get there. I think we figured it out. 
So go to Lido deck, deck 10, forward, and it looks like there's stairs going up. So this is what we were looking for. And it should have a nice forward view. See, all you gotta do is look at the map. The silver coffees. There's the bow of the ship. Another ship out there, way out there. And our cabin is actually uh, right at this railing. So it's, it's probably this one right here, right? Maybe close to the middle. Yeah, so that's cool. There's only like four of those, I believe. And they're not much more than a regular cabin, but they're booked like well out over a year. So you gotta book over a year to get that cabin. Oh, look at the shot here. So we found this nice little area on deck 11. Waters are looking super blue. But yeah, look at that. And a little whale tail action going on. Beautifuls. It's a Carnival Paradise logo right there. And there are several balconies that were retrofitted. Yeah, here we go. So they were added on. And then this whole row here and then on the other side. I think in the back too. So if you really want a balcony, I think you could get one. They are. All right. Watch your step. Okay, so we did find the gym. A lot of people in here. I'll try not to show people. Yeah. It looks really, really nice. Look at that. I mean, you have a heck of a view. So to get through, it's a little weird. Do the men have to go through the men's restroom and then the women's have to go through the women's to get through and there's no signs. So basically just gotta yeah. try doors, so. Stumble into it. It's, the gym is kind of hidden. Yeah, but it's through yeah. the spa area. Yeah, it's small, but they have everything you need in here and it's got good AC, so. Yeah. Uh, we're missing someone. There we go. All right, we are dressed for some Ball hot tubbing. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, uh, on this ship, Paradise uh, Serenity area has a hot tub. It's all the way aft, so we got to go that way. And one pool, which is mid. So one a pool. So let's go see what we can find. Serenity deck looks nice. We're in the back of the ship, Serenity area. And then you just go up one deck and then there's the door for the buffet. So actually very close to food, but we are going to just find a spot and maybe try this little hot tub. Okay, we did find ourselves a couple little drinks, margarita and a mango daiquiri. Virgin. Cheers. It's a good one. Andrea's baking in the sun. There is not much shade at all in this area. Yeah, so we will try to score a shade spot if we can at some point. But yeah, uh, normally get the fun chip, but the margarita is real good. So we just finished doing the Cupid Shuffle in the uh, Lido Deck midship pool. Very loud, so I can't really record anything. A lot harder to do in the water, but it was, it was fun. fun. There was a yeah. group of us that were trying our best to do it, but you just have to use your imagination. Yeah, so now I think it's time. Well, look at that view. For lunch. Such still water. But yes, it's time, it's as she said, for lunch. Just wanted to capture this, a very serene, beautiful shot. Look at how calm the waters are. Oh, look at that. We got the sun glistening off the water. I but yes. I was a beautiful <laughs> shot that he was taking. <laughs>
I think this is reason 101 to enjoy cruising. Very nice. What? 102. Just before three, all that's open now is the deli or pizza, but here's the choice. All right, we have our spread from the deli and then the pizza, really long line there for Pizza Pirate. But look at what we got. I have a half tuna, half BLT. Andrea waited in the long line to get us each a slice of pizza and then she has half tuna, half BLT. With five chips. <laughs> yes. Uh, she could have got more chips, but yeah, so this should be good. And it is formal night. Yes! So we are ready for dinner. What time is it? About 6.30? Yeah, it's 6.30, so we're just about done. And then we're going to go ahead and reserve... Um, our table because you have to do that for your time and super easy by the way yeah. yeah your time you just hit reserve table and it tells you yep. the wait time and then it tells you what table to go to and bada bing bada boom <laughs> you're eating and then you're eating <laughs> yeah so uh we're gonna have dinner and then there's an 80s music show tonight so we might check that out which we can show you a little bit of that and then we might check out the comedy which we cannot show you but we're heading to dinner. Yep, come along. New one for me, this is Emerald Selection Beef Carpaccio off the Emerald's menu, new appetizer. Andrea has... I have the corn chowder. Very excited about corn that. Corn chowder. Who doesn't like a good chowder? And it's hot, and whenever you're so cold, you get to be warmed up. Yum, yum. Very corny. <laughs> oh, well, that's a good thing. Oh, but look at that. A new Emeralds offering. They have a lot of new stuff these days, everybody. Yes, yeah, so I quite like this dish. It's like a truffle um, mascarpone. And uh, this is like almost like a, like a beef pate and then there's strong Parmesan flavor. This is a really good little dish, recommended highly. What do you have? I that looks have, awesome. I have the vegetable lasagna and it looks fabulous. My corn chowder was really good. I didn't get to eat all of it though because it made me eat <laughs> But excellent. Oh, my dinner is chicken cordon bleu. Looks like some fingerling potatoes, vegetables. This looks perfect for me. And for dessert, creme brulee. Listen to that. 
solid. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, can you do that again? Day two, we are back in the cabin after a fun day. Went to see a brunch this morning. We actually got in the pool today and got in one of the hot tubs in Serenity. A little too warm as we were sitting in the sun. Got to talk with some fun people today. So we had the pizza pirate and we split a tuna and a BLT at the deli. Our dinner this evening for formal night was kind of a miss. Mine was really good. I had the uh, vegetable lasagna. Andy tried to get the chicken cordon bleu and it almost didn't look done-ish. Uh, so they actually took that back and Andy tried the prime rib which was just kind of a ball of fat. So uh, he got to try a little bit of that, so not so great with the formal night dinner, even though every other meal has been spot on. We tried to go to the comedy show, but it was a little too crowded and we got there too late. But we saw the 80s show, which was really fun. That was cool to see. Uh, I believe it was called 80s to the Max. So if you enjoyed the little clip there, let us know. But Thanks for coming along. Tomorrow is Cozumel Day. So we're excited to see our friends at Snack Bar Mandy and take you along. So that's it for now. See you on day three.